Real What? country fun. Froggy. It's the Danger Show live in Nashville for CMA Week with Trisha Yearwood. Hello, Danger. How are you doing? Danger, Danger. I'm yeah. good. How are you? I'm doing good. I mean, it's a busy week in Nashville. Pretty exciting stuff. It is. This it's, is crazy around here. This is good, though. Uh, it's like the whole country music industry converges. In one building. For a week. <laughs> yeah. For almost a week. Yeah. It's like the pre-parties, the party, the after parties, the rehearsals, the interviews. It's nuts. It is crazy. But you're already living a pretty wild life right now on the road with your husband, Garth Brooks. Yeah, this is like a day off for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, especially the two the two show a night ones, you know, right. and turn it trying to turn the house of seventeen thousand people. I don't know how it's getting done, but it is, and um, and we're having a great time. I was trying to follow because I'm a huge fan of Garth Brooks, and I was trying to follow what you guys are doing on the road. It's really unprecedented. I mean, just announcing, hey, next month we'll do seven shows in Jacksonville, Florida, and and then you just sell them all out, and then you go do them, and then you. It's like this is nuts, but you're you're well, doing it. Well, you know, I I live with a, a really creative guy who's also <laughs> not like any other boy. You know, he's right. he doesn't ever do things by the book, and right. so um, you know, it's going to always be an adventure. And um, it's kind of it's kind of fun this way. I mean, it's a little nerve wracking for everybody that is like, well, where are you going to be next? Where are you going to be next? And uh, and truthfully, I haven't looked that far ahead. I, I do know, and I don't know exactly what the dates are. I know kind of where we're going to be. Um, but it's all a big secret, you know, until until the shows are announced. But that makes it kind of exciting, and um, and then we just see, you know, we we have uh, we we know that we're gonna, you know, he'll usually put a couple of shows on sale, and then you just kind of gauge the interest. And in. if you it, those mornings, if you could be in the house listening to, well, we got a hundred thousand people in the queue trying to get tickets. You're like, okay, put another one on sale. It gets exciting. It's right, really exciting right. on those days. And and we know he, I mean, we know he told us he was going to come to Pittsburgh, and we know he loves Pittsburgh. But any hint of what time of year? It could possibly be. It'll be, it'll be one of the four seasons. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take him. We'll take him. He was. Uh, he does love Pittsburgh. In fact, he. Um, we just watched the 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 game. Watch Ben make some history, and uh, and he wears this fighting necklace that's a yellow black. Uh, necklace and he lost it in Chicago actually so he's, he's been without it for a couple months and I, I think he thinks that that's his mojo and his power so I got him he got it I gave him his his black and gold yesterday and okay. now he feels he has his power back well it's pretty exciting when you got uh, the Steelers quarterback Big Ben throwing six touchdown passes every game that's kind of fun to watch it was amazing I mean that was a great game and when it's when it first started I mean it was I was like okay what's gonna happen here but um that was pretty pretty awesome well now Garth roots for the Steelers who are you rooting for oh, I'm there? a Titan okay yeah you um, live I, in Nashville. yeah and I, I grew up in Georgia Georgia, but I was never um, ever really a big Falcons fan. I was more of a Georgia Bulldog. I, I followed college football. But when I, I was living here when the Titans came to Nashville, and it was so exciting for the whole community that I just kind of got on board with everybody else. And, you know, we had a great first year, and we've really struggled <laughs> since then. But I'm a fan. Well, I want to talk about your new record real quick. It's called Prize Fighter Hit After Hit. You didn't just name it Greatest Hits. You changed it up. You have 10 huge hits of your own and then some new songs on the record as well. Yeah, I wanted to um, call the album Prize Fighter because I just love what that entails and I love the whole idea. I love the, the lyrics of that song. It's really an anthem about whatever you're going through about just never giving up the fight. I love what it says. Um, and so um, I thought, how can I name a greatest hits prize fighter? So I thought hit after hit kind of works. Right. <laughs> and, and we can't let you leave without talking about your new career as a uh, a cookbook author and a host on television. I mean, the, the food shows are... My my wife is an incredible cook, and she watches them all the time. She loves your show. Oh, awesome. And you're just starting your fifth season of uh, Trisha's Southern Kitchen right. on Food Network. You have your third cookbook coming out soon. In April of next year, yeah. Is that something you ever thought you would be doing? No. I mean, I love to cook. It's relaxing for me. Um, and it actually started... Uh, I did the first book because I was living in Oklahoma and not on the road very much and trying to find something to be creative. And and it was something I could do at night when the girls went to bed. I could work on it on the computer. My mom helped me, my sister. And um, and I never dreamed it would turn into this kind of second career, which has been really time-consuming. I actually had to say, look, I know that I'm, I've got this this other career, and it's awesome, but I really need to go make some music. you know. So I really had to just say, I've got to, I've got to take a little break from that for a minute. What's something you could share to our, our listeners and people that are watching on froggyland.com, the video, something that you like to cook for Garth over the holidays since the holidays are coming up? Well, we, we were talking about Thanksgiving last night um, we, while we were playing basketball because we're trying to fit into our CMA outfits. <laughs> um, <laughs> talking about all the food we're going to eat someday. You right. know? And um, he just likes traditional stuff, you know. So um, 
he, he loves my mashed potatoes, which are like the simplest thing to make in the world, but he would have them every meal if I would make them. So um, the secret ingredient is potatoes. <laughs> a little salt and pepper, some butter, you're good to go. Mashed potatoes, that's, that's a <laughs> staple. It's pretty simple, but that's his favorite. Well, thanks for spending time with us. And I know Garth's presenting Wednesday night, so you guys will both be there together? Yeah, I'm presenting also. Oh, you're presenting as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll both be there. Can I just say from everyone in country radio and the industry, we're glad to have you guys out of retirement and doing the thing. It's really exciting for all of us. Well, thank you. We're, we're excited. We're, we're having fun. It's a new ball game, but we're happy to be in, in the game. She's Tricia Yearwood. We're live in Nashville this week for CMA Week with Froggy.